In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform the Gene Expert maintenance procedure. Firstly, we would like to describe the materials, reagents, and solutions required to perform Gene Expert system maintenance. The maintenance of Gene Expert system should be performed regularly by the end user, daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. In this video, we will demonstrate daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance procedures. Yearly maintenance and Gene Expert module calibration will be demonstrated in a separate video. Now we will describe the daily maintenance procedures. These procedures are 1. Clean the Gene Expert working table and area. 2. Remove and safely discard the used Expert cartridges. 3. Keep the Gene Expert module doors upright. For weekly maintenance, we have to reboot the Gene Expert system. Always switch off the Gene Expert computer first and then switch off the Gene Expert system. Wait 10 seconds. Then restart the Gene Expert machine first, followed by the Gene Expert computer. This will complete the weekly maintenance procedure. Always remember to switch off the Gene Expert system when not in use and put the dust cover on when the system is not in use. For monthly maintenance, the procedures are 1. Clean the instrument surface 2. Clean cartridge bay interior 3. Clean plunger rods 4. Clean module PCR tube slots 5. Clean or replace the fan filter 6. Archive and purge delete run First, we will demonstrate the monthly maintenance first procedure of how to clean the instrument surface. Firstly, moisten a lint-free paper towel with 70% ethanol solution. Wipe the instrument surfaces thoroughly with the paper towel. Then, take a new lint-free paper towel and moisten it with 70% ethanol solution. Then, clean the table area around the machine. Next, we will continue demonstrating the procedure for disinfection of the cartridge bay interior. As the first step, moisten a lint-free cotton swab with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution and wipe the cartridge bay interior surfaces inside of the module door and the top lid of the door with that swab. We need to take care not to touch the slot on the i module into which the cartridge reaction tube is inserted, as getting liquid inside the i module can damage the module. Wait for two minutes. Repeat cleaning of cartridge bay interiors by doing the above steps two more times. Then, moisten a lint-free cotton swab with 70% ethanol solution and wipe the same surfaces with the swab. Finally, close the module door. Discard the used paper towels. Next, we will continue demonstrating the plunger rods maintenance procedure. Click the plunger maintenance on the maintenance menu in the Gene Expert DX system application window. When the plunger maintenance dialog box appears, select the module you want to clean and click clean. If you want to clean all modules, click Clean All. When the Plunger Cleaning dialog box appears, follow the instructions in the Plunger Cleaning dialog box, then click OK. The plunger rod in the selected module will be lowered into the cartridge bay. At the same time, the Clean button changes to Move Up button. If you clicked Clean All button, plunger rods of each and every module will be lowered and then the button changes to move up all. First, moisten a lint-free cotton swab with 1% sodium hypochlorite solution and wipe the plunger rods with that swab. Then wait for two minutes. 
Repeat the above steps two more times. Finally, moisten a lint-free cotton swab with 70% ethanol solution and wipe the plunger rods with that swab and let them dry. Click Move Up or Move Up All in the Plunger Maintenance dialog box so that the plunger rods move back up to its resting position. Then click the Close to dismiss the Plunger Maintenance dialog box. Next, we will continue to demonstrate how to clean the module PCR tube slots. To clean the PCR tube slot, insert the brush bristles completely in the PCR slot. Then brush inside the PCR slot with several up and down movements, twisting the brush between thumb and forefinger. Clean every module for at least 30 seconds. After cleaning all modules, brushes are washed with 70% ethanol and kept dry for the next time. It is important to use one dry brush for each module PCR tube slot. Next, we will continue to demonstrate how to clean the fan filter. Cleaning the fan filter should only be done when the machine is switched off. Thus, turn off the Gene Expert system first. If the fan filter is positioned on the outside, unclip four clips one by one and remove the filter, sponge. Wash the filter with water and soap. Dry it between two paper towels. After completely drying the filter, it should be put back to its original position and clip on the four clips one by one. Then switch on the Gene Expert and then switch on the Gene Expert computer. If the fan filter is positioned behind the back panel, remove the power cable, network cable, and four screws on the back panel after turning off the GX system. Then, tilt back the panel and remove the filter, sponge. Wash the filter gently with soap and water. Let it dry between two paper towels. Put it back to its original position only when it is completely dry. Then switch on the Gene Expert system, and then switch on the Gene Expert computer. Finally, we will demonstrate how to archive the GX results. Test data should be archived monthly or once every three months. For an archival of results, click on the Data Management menu in the Gene Expert DX system window. Then click on Archive Test. Select the tests you want to archive when the Archive Test dialog box appears. Then select Tick Delete Archive Test in version 4.0 or select Tick on Purge Selected Test on the list after archiving in version 4.6 and then click OK and proceed to do so. The file name will be given automatically. You can change the file name if you would like to. In this way, you can perform the monthly maintenance procedures systemically 